Hello gaming fans as well as my amazing YouTube subscribers and welcome back to Gold Rush. My name is Daniel Parks and if you guys are new here feel free to go ahead and smash that subscribe button and if you guys like the video make sure to go ahead and leave a huge thumbs up. In this episode, we did have a new update come out today, and I'm really excited to show you guys that really quick. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the minor ones. They did add a frames per second up in the right-hand corner. I can go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that, but they also included a $1 mode, which basically means that all of the equipment is going to be a dollar, which is great for those of you guys who just want to get in and play the game and just want to buy equipment and play around with the stuff. You know, maybe even have a second, you know, account for just trying out new stuff i don't know whatever you guys want to do with that that's perfectly fine with you i'm not a huge fan of it but i know other people are so you know you can also include that you just enable that in this settings option for the game and then you have the i thought that would enable it but it did not so you had the show frames per second go ahead and enable that so apply it back back okay so then i have the frames per second i do have a 1080 so that's why I'm getting up there 60 but it's usually only when I'm sitting still and once I start to move it drops down to 36 37 something like that so I'm not too fan too big of a fan of that I don't like seeing it down that low but you know again it's something that they're working on they also added in a brand new plug right here so they've added this new one so now you actually have so you have five of these now the big uh blue ones which is nice because then i was running a generator over here to even get that uh to be able to actually run that one and i really needed that for like work lights and stuff like that they did actually fix to where you don't you're not supposed to get stuck in here anymore which is really nice as well you can actually move around without having too big of an issue they also adjusted the wave table which i'll go ahead and run over here really quick and show you guys they no longer allow you to switch the toggle on and off for, you know, water flowing through or not, which is fine with me. I didn't want to have to deal with it anyway. Plus, it was backwards. It was, you know, the open was actually keeping it closed and so on. It was just a big stupid thing. So I'm glad they just went ahead and took, uh, took that off of there. Uh, they also, let's go ahead and jump in here. They adjusted the something with the... Uh, with this right here, the dump truck, and I don't really know what it means. The notes just basically say that they uh, did the lowered the truck, the dump truck indicator, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. If you guys happen to know, feel free to go ahead and leave that in the comments. But the other big thing is if you look down at the bottom right hand corner, you have the differential lock, and they changed the color to that of that. So now it's instead of turning red, it's actually that color there. I am colorblind, so I apologize. I'm not going to even try to guess what color that is. I think it's like a green or a yellow, but it's one of those. But let's see. Are there any? Is there anything else? They also added some adjustments to the wind. You can change the uh, the wind, how the trees move. I guess is the biggest deal there. Oh, they also added in here. So like, let's go ahead and sleep until the next day. So here in just a second, as soon as it gets to six o'clock, I will then get a daily summary of you know what my workers did, what my worker salary was, any of the uh, process oil and earn gold and stuff like that. So that's really cool. So now we have that on the map. Let's go ahead and open up the map. They also included that you have a water source, as you can see down here, as well as a hog pan area. So especially up here, you can see it really well. So you have a hog pan area and the water source there. And it's on all of the parcels. You'll find that. So right there and there. And then they also adjusted the workers in here. You can go in and you can uh, see them. If you have somebody who is not assigned, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's actually grayscaled like this. So in your hired workers, you'll have somebody in here that's grayscaled. And basically that means that they are not currently assigned to a task. So you probably should do that because there's nothing worse than paying for somebody who's sitting on their butt all day. So that is exciting as well, but I have yet to get to the most exciting news, which is phenomenal. I've actually played around with it for a little bit, and I am so excited to show you guys because it is absolutely the best thing that has hit Gold Rush since it was released. Yes, and that, coming from me, that's a big deal because that dump truck right there saved my life. However... 
However, this right here is going to be the coolest thing you will ever see and you'll ever do. You will never stop playing this game now that they have added this in here. So, I'm going to... You see this little mound to my right? You see this little mound to my right? And I'm going to say it's not really that little. Watch this. Oh, yes, yeah, son. Look at that. Oh, yes. They put into here a new system to where you will not get stuck as easily as you have been as of late. All right. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of make my way around here. And you can just all of these bumps just climbing over them, man. And I'm going to try around and uh, use the bulldozer as well. But just looking at it with the... You know, the loader is the biggest thing that I use. So being able to climb on all of this. Oh, look at this. Like, it actually just climbs up it. Like it's supposed to, man. Centered there, but that's all right. I don't mind. But anyway, so yeah, like that. Now, before, it would get stuck on everything. All of these little, little bitty things here and there. Like, it would get stuck on them. Right now, it just climbs over them, which is absolutely phenomenal. Again, this is my favorite part of this because it will save me so much frustration and anger and, you know, just wanting to quit because it's so hard to play when you have that issue. It really, really is. But we don't have that problem anymore, guys. That is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. And I just really cannot wait to get in and play some more. Let's go ahead and try out the bulldozer, see what we can do with the bulldozer. Since it doesn't have differential lock, let's see what it can do as far as getting stuck and stuff like that. But I am excited, man. That is, uh, it's a dream come true, which is pathetic because it's a freaking dream. But it does come true, man. And, you know, say what you want about the developers, but they are continuously improving this game. Every day they add something in there and they understand that there are issues, but they're constantly making the game better which is so much more than you can expect from a lot of developers look at this yep yep no issues at all i can climb all over this dirt anytime i want to oh man is it my freaking birthday oh yeah yeah son so i'm talking about Woo! yeah anyway i do hope you guys enjoyed this episode again it was strictly for just checking out the new update letting you guys know what's going on. And I hope you guys liked it. If you did, again, make sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new here, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode.